Men to cure themselves. He force injected vampire bat serum into his body. His life has been on the rocks ever since, both in terms of speed and strength. His powers are beyond anyone's reach. I even got it by accident. The echolocation ability of bats. You can catch a flying thing with your eyes closed, but the serum also gave him terrible side effects, causing him to become extremely bloodthirsty. Now the artificial blood won't satisfy his desire. And here's the kicker. His best friend was injected with the serum. Like him, he became a terrible vampire. To stop Vano from killing again, Mobius decided to create a detoxification potion. So he went after the basement where the crooks were making the counterfeit money. We're gonna turn this place into research. The test site for the cure. Just come here. He gave the gangsters a lecture on anatomy. Did you know that there are 27 bones in the human hand? Allow me to introduce the phalanges. Oh, the metacarpals. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck out of here. And the pretty little stinky pinky. Oh. Who the hell are you, Matt? They. I. Am. And so Mobius made it easy, got the other side of the basement, the veins that turn into vampires, out hunting again, look at the prey appears the vein decisive hand, the police arrived at the scene soon after the next day, we identified the vampires through surveillance, so, get Milo and Mobius on TV, this scene, just in time for the old Dean who had been raising them, don't trust the old Dean or find the vein, persuade him to change his ways, you can see the Dean's veins, instead, he became very emotional, he blamed the Dean, I've loved Mobius since I was a kid, but to myself, in spite of the Dean's bitter words, my wife's advice, he has lost his sense of context, I can't listen to it. He backhanded the Dean. And asked the old Dean to give a message to Mobius. He can kill as many people as he wants. At the same time, Mobius has also developed an antidote. However, this antidote does inhibit bat serum. It will also take this man's life. While he was looking for the vein with the antidote, the old Dean called him for help out of the blue. When Mobius gets here, the old Dean told him that he must stop the vein. He stopped breathing. That's when Mobius heard his girlfriend call for help. Only then did I find that. I was caught in the vein of distraction. It turns out that Vendetta took revenge on Mobius, early attention to the ambiguous relationship between the two. Then Mobius came outside. Using echolocation, he quickly located his girlfriend. Then he took a leap and flew over. By the time he got here, he was too late. His girlfriend is dying. He knows. Mobius is now no match for Vane. I told him to dilute his own blood. It makes him stronger. Mobius gave his own blood. After secretly feeding it to his girlfriend, I bit him in the neck. Mobius the one who sucked the blood of a man. It's obviously purified. Just in time, the Vane appears. The so-called enemies are jealous when they meet. Mobius rushed forward in anger and wrestled with him. And so the two vampires fought. But for a Vane that feeds on human blood, physically stronger than the other side in every aspect, it didn't take long for Mobius to fall behind. I saw the other person incapacitated. Vane went over and grabbed him by the ankles, throw out, and ran into a billboard next to it. Mobius fell from a tall building. Consciousness is also gradually blurred, but Milo gave him no respite. Attack him again and knock him out of the sky. Mobius was hanging upside down in the air. It's like a bat. Then waves of ultrasonic waves were sent out not far away. He then fell to the ground without vital signs. But just then the ground began to shake slightly. Milo sensed something was wrong, too. Soon, vampire bats swarmed in from not far away. They all circled around Mobius. It suspended him in midair. Now Mobius awoke again. The eyes became terrible. The Vane saw the situation, picked up an iron bar and rushed to each other, ready to deliver the coup de grace. At the moment when the veins are close to each other, Mobius shook his fist. A move was made, a move even Batman hasn't seen before. He knocked Milo out, then they control the bat's actions to restrain the vein. Pull out the antidote I made ahead of time. It went right into him. The antidote quickly spreads through the chorionic body, disappeared with the bat serum. The vein also stops breathing. Finally, Mobius escapes with the help of the bat's eyes. The girlfriend who had been bitten by the male master also came to life. At the end of the story, the film also features two Easter eggs. The first to follow the Spider-Man hero turtle. A fissure appears in the sky. Bald was transported to a prison. Because he is in this universe, no criminal record of any kind. He was released without charge. The second is bald put on the equipment. Mobius was found. I'm not sure how I got here. Has to do with Spider-Man, I think. I'm still figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up. Could do some good. Intriguing.